first time I came to Canada was in 2003, and I came on a high school exchange and into St. Andrews. It was easier to come here and start a life, I feel. There's a lot of competition in Holland for houses and jobs and everything like that. I don't think in Holland, what we have here for house and a yard and freedom and time, we wouldn't have that in Holland. in St. John and raised in Black Sarbor and lived in St. George. So it is a, it's a close-knit when it comes to families. There's certainly a lot of families here that have been here for generations and uh, you know, that's one thing that I, that I like. Um, my own family as well and lots of family members that are here. So, um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's mostly to do with family. I'm from Cienfuegos, Cuba. It's a beautiful city right by the bay, but you know, love came and I made the decision to come in here. I'm from Alberta originally, small farming community there, and because of the university in town, I ended up coming to St. Stephen, which was supposed to be a pit stop visit for a year, and in the end, I never left. I've been here for 16 years now, and I currently work for Future St. Stephen which is the Community Economic Development Group that works in partnership with the town to say, how do we move forward? What does our town need to look like in the future? And how do we get there? I'm a native of St. Stephen, not too far away. Grew up uh, six miles outside of St. Stephen in the country. The church uh, needed a new rector and uh, my predecessor, Archdeacon Jones, who was here for 33 years, uh, recommended me to the parish and uh, I was interviewed and here ever since. It didn't take long for us to uh, climatize because I'm from the area so I already knew a number of people at least they they knew me even if I didn't know them very well and they knew my family. Before I opened the cafe I worked in a little restaurant owned by Diane, Diane Ganon, and I met their wonderful people, wonderful wonderful people that they actually follow me. Past 10 years you know working for her and then opening the cafe and all of that have been such a like wonderful and beautiful transition because I, I've seen those customers they turn to be my friends so I kind of like got inspired by that like I miss when I got done working at the bistro I miss seeing my coffee club guys at 10 o'clock in the morning so, you know, that kind of like inspired me to open the cafe. So I could have my own space, that I could have my people here, and that I could share a cup of coffee, just like we do in Cuba. Uh, there is some, some, some inspiration in the community. It's with, you know, with the uh, community living group. A lot of the, the individuals that are going there are challenged, so, um, but they're also not kept in the background. They do a really good job of bringing them out and being a part of the community with different events. I'd say like Laura Lee Carrier and and uh, the community living group is, is really a big part of the community, a bit of inspiration and in what they do. They sort of they have a can-do attitude, which is nice to see. Sarah Norman with uh, St. George and Area Food Bank. Uh, again, somebody that's that's always there, that's a source of great inspiration of just, of just getting out there and helping people. I think the way that the, the generations are integrated is is, in, is inspiring. For a number of years, well, maybe only for three or four, we had a, a, a lunch, a free lunch at the hall, and um, on Wednesdays at noon, and we had a, a, you could look at a table and see 93 year old Lexi Smith talking to a, an 18 year old um, community college student from Mexico, and uh, one of the mothers who had been at the Mother's Day out at the Baptist Church, uh, and sitting there talking to uh, to her and, and the student as well. That generations seem to be integrated in a way that again doesn't happen in, in every community. Like when the pandemic hit, like everybody stepped up to help, and like if somebody is sick, like everybody is helping out and raising money and stuff like that. It's that's nice to see. A lot of small towns they rally to a cause, constantly rally to a cause. Some people out go out and play some music. Some people gather some food and put it on. Everyone gets together and they throw money in a pot and they support the person that, that needs the support at that moment. And those things are happening in the background all the time in this community. 
that I would say is maybe at an escalated level than I have seen in other communities. Just the sense of like, you pitch in, right? When there's something that needs help. Really amazing.